Hey guys, come with me to Cousins Library to talk to a rare books curator. My name is Danielle Westerhoff. I am the rare books curator here at Palace Green Library. My role involves many different things. So I could be looking at booksellers catalogues to buy a new book, or I may be cataloguing a book, maybe researching a particular book or a particular collection. One of the projects I've worked on recently is filling a display case that we have here in Cousins Library. The first theme is going to be about Cousins Health. We're standing in Cousins Library, which is a bit of a hidden gem here in Durham. Not many people know that we have this wonderful 17th century library. It was founded in 1669 by Bishop John Cousin. He was uh, Bishop of Durham from 1660 to 1672 and he wanted to make his mark. So he founded this library with the idea of it being a public facility. Public being a very limited application. Men who had gone to university and then in particular people who had studied religion and the law. I'm very pleased to say that that's very different these days. All the books that you see on the shelves here can be called up and looked at in our search room. Do I have a favourite book? In the collections? That's a really difficult question. Personally, I'm really interested in the history of medicine, so I always get quite excited about seeing books on that subject. We've got some really wonderful herbals, so books about plants and trees with beautiful woodcuts, uh, some of them coloured in by hand. Our book collections include manuscripts. So the earliest item I, I've handled recently was a leaf from a 12th century manuscript. In terms of fun facts, people used to come in through the front door of the library. So how we come into the library these days is through a back door and it was a private entrance. So people would come in through the front door and there's actually a painted shield which says this is the library founded by John Cousin. Final fun fact, I suppose, uh, the gallery is 19th century. It was introduced by the university for proud parents who came to see their sons graduate in the early 19th century. So what do you think it's so important to preserve places like this? This is a really, really big question because it really ties in with what makes us human. Our history is so important. It creates a connection with people in the past. It creates this really personal story. It gives us an insight into how people thought, how they behaved almost, and you can draw lessons from that. You know, when I come into this space, I always find it really resonates with me, this, this piece of history.